a very special guest from Europe, um, Dr. Ian Trent, co-founder and president of Chief of Fitech. Mm, and today uh, he will be sharing with us the spare opinion of super cooler full uh, metallic. Um, with that, I ask to give full attention to Ian uh, and help me welcome to the stage. Thanks, Julie, um, for the introduction. Uh, and I'm going to give our presentation on our uh, super cooled liquid metal uh, technology uh, made here at uh, Safi Tech. Um, so we're addressing one of the critical challenges, and I've seen some of the presentations today. There's a lot of challenges out there in, in flexible electronics, but the one we're trying to address is making a high conductivity interconnect, but in a low temperature process. And there's a lot of problems in that little black arrow between traditional electronics and flexible electronics on materials and processing and all these things coming together to be integrated. And so we're, we're focusing on uh, the solder material that goes into these, uh, these products. Solder is the material of choice in rigid assembly because it is a very reliable, highly conductive, both electrically and thermally, and it's a well-known material. But it's also a very uh, old material. We've been using solder for quite a long time, and it's been refined to great effects, make the technology we're talking to each other uh, and interacting with each other um, today. But all of these solder products use the same type of method. We're applying a molten solder, applying it hot, uh, and that gets to have some limitations for these next generation of electronics, whether it be the materials, or it could be CT mismatch, or it, it could be a, a variety of different compounding um, reliability issues. And so this metallurgical process suits us well, um, but Safitech is coming at the soldering and interconnect formation from a completely different angle. So we're taking regular solder metal alloys, we're forming them into particles, we call them microcapsules because they have a core of that regular solder metal alloy and it's covered by a very thin shell. And what this form factor of the metal alloy gives us and those out there trying to make interconnects is the ability to super cool or li keep liquid these microcapsules well below the normal melting point of that alloy. So when these little uh, microcapsules are broken mechanically, like they're squished mechanically, or the shell, which is part native oxide of the metal, or part organic layer, or that shell is dissolved, the liquid metal can flow out and form a, an interconnect at dramatically lower processing temperatures. So the main, the main advantages are regular solder metal alloys. Uh, familiar to the rigid space is SAC 305. Some people in the space are looking uh, at bismuth tin solders. We can do those as well. Pretty much any solder metal alloy can be made into this form factor, used on demand, and then used at lower heat and sometimes as low as ambient temperatures. So I have a video here on the right, and hopefully it will filter out through this platform uh, well. And it's a video of these microcapsules in an electron microscope. And what we're viewing here is the removal, physical removal of that shell using a focused ion beam, 40 degrees Celsius below the melting point of this metal. It allows the metal to flow out. You can see the little shells start to um, 